Welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since we've put out a video. This has been a pretty brutal winter. Months and months of snow and darkness. But the sun's out and it's time to get some projects done on our new Sprinter van. <laughs> This weekend's project, we decided to install some side steps. Uh, me and Emily are both pretty short, so getting out of the van isn't always easiest. Uh, plus, they look pretty badass. We went with rugged design concepts. We like the way they look compared to some of the other options out there. They're aluminum, so they're not rock sliders. They'll uh, if we hit a big rock, they'll definitely get damaged, but a little protection to the body. Uh, but we also don't have to worry about rust because they're aluminum. So first of all, I have to say it's a pretty daunting task knowing that I have to drill into a brand new Mercedes Sprinter van. But when I kind of took inventory of the parts and um, a couple videos online how to do this, nothing specific to this brand, there really isn't aren't any installation videos for this brand of steps, but with YouTube and just some past work experience, it um, really isn't that bad. I've already got one side done and it only took about an hour and a half. So I would just say the right tools, some patience and uh, maybe a beer. And it's, it's not that bad of a job. Um, this is really all I needed to get this project done. Uh, this handle goes to the jack that is holding the side step up right now. I've pretty much got that into place. You're going to need a drill, some paint. So all the hardware it really came with are these little stainless steel Allen head 3 8 bolts with locking nuts. And these self-tapping screws, also stainless steel. Um, so having a little 3 8 impact gun very helpful especially get these check screws uh, you need an allen key uh, a hammer a wrench these screwdrivers just to kind of line the holes up after they're drilled um, that's about it safety glasses i'm just gonna get into it first thing i've done was jack this up into place um, i have a clamp in the back holding one side up so it doesn't fall on my face when i'm crawling around under it and then that jack stand just to kind of keep it from moving around. Uh, one, I guess one thing about these compared to some of the other options, um, owl vans, their brackets to hold these on are separate from the step itself, which would make it a lot easier to do by yourself. So this is probably the hardest part and it wasn't that bad. It's just getting this up lined up so I can crawl under, paint where the holes are gonna be drilled, drop it down, drill the holes, jack it back up but like I said it the other side only took about an hour and a half so to do this by yourself not bad if you have two people to do it knock it out pretty quick Well, all I'm doing now is I spray painted where the holes are going to be drilled for the bolts and now I'm just doing some pilot holes and then I'll like actually right now I'll just do it I'll do the uh, main hole for the bolts and I'm there are three eighths so I'm going to size up one drill bit just to give me a little wiggle room that so I've got 11 of these to drill and then I'll put the tech screws in the self tappers and then that's it all right all the holes are drilled hopefully I got those right what I'm gonna do now is take some rust stop spray paint and I'm going to spray the insides of the holes that I just drilled to prevent rust in the future 
So I just masked off part of the van so the overspray doesn't get it, but it's just a quick little zip zip. That's it. I'll crawl under and get the backside too. All right, I've got it. Got the step back somewhat into place. I have one bolt holding it on the end. So now I'm gonna go through with my screwdriver here. And so now I take the jack down. Steps won't go anywhere. And if I need the jack to kind of push up on a couple different spots, then I have that to use. This step was a little warped. Um, the last one went on pretty straight. This one, I'm gonna have to use the jack, I think, just to kind of get all the holes to line up, but I think it's gonna work out pretty well. So one thing I forgot to mention was make sure you pay attention to what's under your van or whatever you're working on before you start drilling. Um, I had to pull the water tank to make room to work on the steps and so you don't drill holes in it because that would suck and i think the winnebago models same thing you got to drop the tank so you can put the steps on and then the tank should just bolt right back up but always make sure you know what you're drilling into paint or what is this tape, tape. <laughs> it's all bolted up all i have to do now is drill some little pilot holes where these self-tapping screws go in and that just reinforces the whole thing and I am done. I'm so glad I'll be done with this. It wasn't that bad. done. This project is done. Super happy with the way these steps turned out. They're solid. They look good. Um, it really wasn't a hard project. It just took a little time. I, uh, like I said earlier, it was it was a daunting task to, to drill holes into our brand new van, but I did some research, saw how these mount on, it really wasn't that bad. Uh, I, they didn't come with instructions, so I, I really came into this blind, and it's been a long time since I've done a project like this, but it worked out. Um, if any of you are wanting to do upgrades and not sure if you can do them yourself, just check out YouTube, and there's all kinds of resources um, some stuff really isn't that bad just really uh, have some patience uh, make sure you're not gonna you know drill through water tanks or fuel tanks um, take your time get the right tools that really is the biggest part have the right tools and you know grab a friend if you need an extra hand to hold things up or to maybe see something you didn't see but Oh yeah, a beer. <laughs> Thanks, babe. So, that's the last major project for a while. We've got a couple small ones on the horizon, but I think we need to get this van out camping somewhere soon. Now that the weather's nice. So, here's two adventures out there, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.